Hasmik was 11 years old when she went to the public swimming pool of Gyumri for the first time, holding her mother's hand. She was very nervous as she got into the water. Now, seven years later, she swims like a fish. I love swimming and it's a joy to practice. Yet my goal is not just to practice. I'm determined to achieve good results in every competition. The latest competition in which the Gyumri swimmer won a medal was the Armenian Adult Swimming Championship. She came in second in the 800-meter race, yielding to the winner by a mere few hundredths of a second. I didn't have the physical strength, but I guess I made up for it with willpower to win second place. In keeping with tradition, the director of Gyumri's public swimming pool proudly presents silver and bronze medals to national swimming champions Hasmi Kakopyan and Vagarshak Muradyan as beginner swimmers look on. <laughs> Arvarinag and Hasmik participated in the national competition. Hasmik won second place. I wish you success. May you reach your goals and become an Olympic champion. Fifteen-year-old Vagarshak has been swimming for the past five years. His trainers say he will soon become well-known. He's got talent and has his eyes on an Olympic victory. I'll be practicing to compete in the Armenian Youth Swimming Championship in October. This year, I'll spare no effort to go on earning the Master of Sports title. This swimming pool and the boiler room next to it have been in operation since 2006. They were built at a cost of 286 million Armenian drams. The project was co-sponsored by the Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund, the Government of Greece, and the Municipality of Gyumri. Up till the devastating earthquake of 1988, Gyumri, Armenia's second largest city, had two public swimming pools, a collective swim team, and a tradition of excellence. We work with young athletes, many of whom are very promising. We need to provide them with intensive training. Our Olympian contenders, including weightlifters, boxers and wrestlers, utilize our pool absolutely free of charge. A swimmer without a pool is like a fish out of water. This is how the coach describes his plight and that of his colleagues during the long period they were unemployed prior to the opening of the new swimming pool. The loss of a job is always unfortunate. That's why we appreciate this pool so much. I convey my deep gratitude to all those who have sponsored the construction of this facility. It is truly a great accomplishment. The pool's director is proud of the fact that in the past 10 years, the names of Gyumri swimmers have frequently been heard at national competitions. He says Gyumri continues to produce scores of highly talented swimmers. Since the opening of this swim school, two of our athletes have been awarded the Master of Sports title. The opening of the swimming pool saw the emergence of Gyumri's first water polo masters. They formed a team, which went on to compete in a number of championships. Currently, the men's team is on hiatus. Many of its members are serving in the armed forces. The pool attracts swimmers from communities throughout the area. We get swimmers from Artik, Maralik and various villages. The pool is closed in winter, as there aren't enough funds to operate the heating system. But the facility's resourceful director has come up with a solution. He'd like to use solar energy in order to cut costs and keep the pool open year-round. Now all we need are a few dedicated benefactors to turn the plan into reality. While the director looks for ways to keep the pool open, athletes here keep swimming toward ever newer and bigger victories. With their sights set on these Olympic rings, which symbolize the crown of the sports world. <laughs>